That's amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Here he oh comes. Oh my here he comes. god. Here he comes. No way. My name is Dr. Mike Lang. After years of facilitating adventure trips, I've seen how participants rely on each other to achieve their objectives. As a frontline psychiatric nurse, Dean thought he had the tools to navigate his new caregiving responsibilities after his wife Sarah was diagnosed with cancer. But over time, they both recognized the increasing strain on their relationship. Together with our kayak guide Chris, we are confronting Dean's intense fear of open water while exploring how to maintain healthy relationships in the midst of a caregiving experience. This is Caregivers in the Wild. Dean told me he's a little nervous. Oh yeah, that's okay. <laughs> super nervous. Yeah, no, that's super nervous. Totally this is, natural. The smile is his super nervous. Yeah, look that's right okay. Now. Once you're out and it's just flat, we'll just coast along. Well, that's it's good. Gonna that's be why we're going together. Yes. Yeah. 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 Here we go. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Yeah, you're it. the motor. Am I? <laughs> that's great. I just get to steer. So I was excited when I when I met Dean for the first time, and I was like, "Yeah, he's got muscles." What? <laughs> so be great. I don't, I don't, yeah. have, any, I don't have any muscles. What are you talking about? In 2019, my wife was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. My youngest was probably three, and yeah. my oldest was about six. It was a dark time. I can definitely say because it's you're so busy with um, medical treatments that you do what you need to do for survival. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting a Monday to Friday job and it wasn't an easy choice because that me meant I had to change yeah. who, what I do and who I am. And so I'm a little saddened by it. Mm -hmm. And I was almost even angry at mm -hmm. times about how fair this is and how unfair. And so did you ever, did you ever say to Sarah, you know, like, I'm feeling resentful or I'm feeling bitter? Yes, so that's pretty much the other part about communication with me and her. That's why it's been helpful to, for example, counseling that me and Sarah go through. Having a third person basically kind of, mm -hmm. they listen, they're not as triggered. Because as a psych nurse, I thought, well, I'm okay. I know the training, I know what to do, I know what to say, I know how to cope. Mm -hmm. Nope, because I was drowning. When caregiving changes everything in that way, you know, relationships with yourself or with your spouse or with your work, um, you know, that's like a huge uh, knock to your identity as a person, right? So, yeah. you know, um, going to counseling, doing all these things, you know, it, it starts to make that seem like actually a really great idea and not something that you need to do if you have problems, yep. right? Because we all do. Caregiving brings them all to the surface. You felt good after last night? Yeah, I did actually. And now we're going to do more of an open crossing. Oh, wow. To, yeah. that, to that island over there, right? So, yeah, well. Now we'll just keep trying to go as straight as we can. Center of that island there. Yeah. If you, the weather's nice and you can get away with it, coming out to the Bretons is kind of a, it's a great idea because you never know what's going to happen out here. <laughs> yeah. So Chris, you were listening in yesterday as we were chatting. Yeah. What were you thinking about? I was kind of self-reflecting a little bit, you know, like you got to be strong for your kids. There's times when they're going to learn why you're upset and why you're happy. And Well, I think you're already doing the first step, like you're already explaining what's going on the best you yeah. can. You got to you gotta use your words. Yeah. That's what I say, right? Use <laughs> yeah. your words. You got to use your words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a seal sticking up there. You see him oh, sitting yeah. up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's a little guy. It's, it's cool getting to be out here with a couple dads, actually. Yeah. You know, no reflect doubt. on this stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, you don't really talk about being a dad. You just do it. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Just, just in the same way, you don't really talk about yeah. being a caregiver. You just do it. Yeah. yeah. Again, that's a cedar, right? Yeah. This is what will catch a spark. Yes. As soon as that does, it should ignite enough. Oh, look at that. Anything burnt that's on the beach, bring it for your fire. Oh. The inside will be nice. Yeah. Fire 101. Yeah. It's going. Oh, that's amazing. Sounded good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds real good. <laughs> Thanks. Beautiful.
A long time ago, someone shared with me something called the PATH principle. Have you ever heard that? The no. PATH principle? No. It's very simple. It's like um, direction, not intention, determines your destination. Oh, I love that. You know, Chris was always pointing at like, you know, I point for that tree or the end of that island or that cliff, you know, and it gave us uh, a point of reference to paddle towards, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. instead of just having good intentions of paddling to, yeah, <laughs> to exactly, Burton Island. Exactly. It gave us an actual path to get there. Right? Yep. The sea is so the same and there's so many little intricacies that you can't even notice. Mm -hmm. And especially in your relationship where you're a two person kayak yeah. and you have conflicting views. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> if you want different things, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> As the one steering, I'm fine with steering, but mm -hmm. what about the other person? No wonder they're so scared. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. What does she feel like? Yeah. yeah. No one goes into, you know, these big life things like being a partner, father, a caregiver, thinking, I'm just going to be mediocre at this. Right? Yeah, yeah. We always have the best intentions, but often, you know, we just get off course. I mean, it's a big world, right? It's easy to be paddling in circles. Here he comes. Here he comes. Wow. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! Woo. That was awesome! Oh my yes! That was awesome! In the end, it was difficult, but really good. We're in a good place right now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of amazing to, to see my kids grow, but also our relationship with each other mm -hmm. has grown.